Hello everyone, Leisure Suit Larry 5. Passion the Petty does a little undercover work. Welcome back. We are now in uh, the FBI lab, so let's take a little look around. What else is going on there? Excuse me, Commander Twit, you say. I'm particularly interested in this man's research. What is he up to? Uh, I suspected you might be intrigued. Dr. Rolfing is working on refining our new infrared heat seeking surface to air vibrator. We feel it will be of considerable value as a protective device against certain types of enemy agents. <laughs> oh, okay. Of course, it works much better when you remember to turn it on and then release it. <laughs> what about them? Oh, Commander Twitch, you say? What are these two men doing? Oh, no, this is an experiment that I think would be of great interest to you, Petty. These two technicians are working on one of our latest Title IX funded developments, the Hair Trigger Double Barreled Armor Piecing Brazier Cannon. How interesting, Commander, you say, but how could you ever fire such a device? Didn't they use that one in uh, Austin Powers movie? The fanbots. <laughs> That's the beauty of this baby, he exclaims, his voice rising with pride. Just touch your elbows together behind your back. Uh, the technician mistakenly believes Commander Twit is speaking to him. Oh, wow. You idiot! Twitch shouts at the bra slinging technician. I was talking to Patty. He just wow, he vaporized the other dude. <laughs> oh my god. Obviously, our turnover rate is rather high here. Yeah, I, I can imagine that when everybody's getting killed. <laughs> Alright, what do we have? These tables are filled with highly expensive scientific equipment, all paid for with your tax dollars. It's quite similar, quite similar. It's all the same. These monitors are presently disconnected. When they were heavily used many years ago, it was only to play Jawbreaker. Alright, so let's head over to this side. See if there's actually more for us. Patty, you sway all in all directions. Uh, Patty, please step over here to the computer for a moment, says Twit. I need to take care of your indoctrination paperwork. It doesn't sound well. Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> First, let's get you a contact telephone number. Ah, uh, here's one five five six two seven seven nine. Okay, thank you. Now let's issue you a computer account number. Uh, here you go. How about BB thirty? Comma seven. Okay, now for your email ID number. Six five four nine three seven five six. And your official password is Making Whoopi. How appropriate. Now I'll apply for a security clearance for you. Granted. But you need some sort of code name. Everybody who's anybody around here has a code name. How about Agent 88, you suggest? Okay, let's see if that's taken. Why 88? Well, it appears that it was used once, but that was years ago. Oh, mm, interesting. What does that mean? Oh, we're done. Can we look at him? Oh, no. We missed something. What was that? The text went by very fast. Oh. What the hell? That doesn't seem uh, right. Well, well, that seems to be progressing nicely. However, a lighter dosage may well be preferable. I think so too. Alright, so I think 
What is that? If it drinks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it must be an experiment. This must be the source of the flatulence powder. Lots of chemicals, beakers and junk food wrappers filled this workbench. These books are filled with Latin phrases. The only Latin phrases you know would get a sailor thrown out of a bar in Tijuana. The FBI laboratory is filled with interesting equipment, most of which baffles you. This machine does something you feel quite certain. Right, so let's head through this door. That's the door to Dr. Phil Hopian's office. Let's go in there now. He'll fit you with your field locator device. Okay. Agent uh, 88, I'd like you to meet our staff physician, Dr. Phil Hopian. Dr. Hopian, this is Agent 88. Don't worry about a thing, Patty. You're in good hands with Dr. Hopian. Nice to meet you, Patty. Come inside and take off all your clothes. Philopian? Philopian? Is that a word? Wow, fast worker, you think? Exactly. Assume the position, he barks. What position? Oops, sorry, I used to be a field agent. Old habits, you know. You enter his office, slip behind a screen and remove your clothes, replacing them with one of those wonderful hospital gowns that leave nothing to the imagination. Oh well, things could be worse. At least a good doctor is also a good looker. Oh. Hello, Patty, and welcome aboard. I'm Dr. Phil Hopian. Staff physician and volunteer gynecologist around here. It will be my pleasure to be serving you today. I'm sorry? What are you doing exactly? That tickles? Stop it. I love this job. I'm pretty sure you do. Now that you've passed your official departmental checkup, with flying collars I might add, it's time for me to install one of our lab's latest inventions, our safety first field locator device. Is this really necessary, doctor? Of course, Patty. This device lets our team of highly trained professional trackers follow you wherever you go. Oh, well, okay, I guess, but will this procedure be painful? Of course not, Patty. Trust me. Yeah, you've heard that line before. Oh, God. Now just relax, Patty. You'll only feel a little prick. Uh, feeling not wholly unfamiliar to you. Ow. That hurts. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. Let me warm that for you first. What the hell is he doing? Oh! Oh. Uh, whoops. Perhaps you prefer something in a D with? <laughs> that music. Oh! Okay. That, is that really necessary? Oh my. Where, where'd you leave your helmet? Is it still in there? I hope not. Two hours later. Oh god, we're finally done. Uh, hey, what is this? A tiny electronic display device lies on the counter. What appears to be some sort of ROM cartridge lies on the counter. Let's pick those up. I think we need them. Okay, so what is it exactly that we picked up? Uh, you are amazed the Japanese didn't come up with this product first. It's a data man. What is that? What appears to be some sort of ROM cartridge. So we've got two? Two of them? Alright. Reverse bias data pack. PC hammer data pack. Okay. Let's uh, walk this way and talk this way. Come on, thank you. Now, there should be something here as well, which is the bra. Let's pick that up as well. 
And it's actually called... You take the double-barreled brazier from the workbench. It smells strongly of fresh gunpowder. I wonder why. Oh, you hope they lower the size of the charge. The Hooter Shooter. Commander Twit's boys may be into explosives, but they know nothing about comfort or adequate support. I agree. Um, but we are actually... We're gonna wear it. You slip your genuine FBI bra over your shoulders. Yo, that sucker's cold. So we are now wearing it. Um, and uh, let's head that way. Because we're done here in the lab. Oh. The large sign identifies the FBI lab as Stein Labs. We'll be frank with you. The Woodman Repair Shop has an attractive sign out front. You wonder what sort of offices are on the upper floors of this building above the office of Dr. Phil Hopian. You are outside the FBI's office building, which is cleverly disguised as a block of normal storefront businesses. Your limousine is waiting for you at the curb, exactly as Desmond promised. Alright, let's head into the limo, because we need to move into the limo. Great. So what we're going to do here is it's exactly the same uh, limo, interior. That's the word I was looking for. Let's take a little look around. Chilled bottle of champagne. Uh, personal fax machine. Cellular phone. Show is boring. Television isn't on. Car said goldfish. Uh, I am looking for... You, you look yourself over, you like what you see. Although I could stand to lose a few pounds, you think. A small locked liquor compartment rests beneath the right front passenger seat. You wonder when it will be your turn to live high in the hog. Uh, there are enough bottles of liquor and glasses to throw a party. All you need now is some friends. There are many videotapes in the wreck that you would love to see. Unfortunately, the VCR is broken. Alright, so we're going to pick up this bottle. And uh, we're going to uh, use this one there. And then we're going to use this on the dude. The shield building, eh? Says Bobby. It's a great place if you like music. Okay. And now he takes us there. As you drift off to sleep, you begin to dream. Oh, Donald, you moan in your dream. The Donald, he corrects you. My Donald, you correct him. I so love this little boat you bought me. This didn't age well at all. I'm going to name it the Tramp Pianist. Yeah, this didn't age, <laughs> age it well <laughs> at all. Uh, because, yeah, that's former President Trump. Trump, sorry. Meanwhile, in a plane far, far away, during our absence, your dream of passion Patty Spartan and performance progressed. The concert, a huge success, is now over. The critics have acclaimed her technique, interpretation and mature musicianship. Her promoter is arranging a one-year tour, and the two of you take this opportunity to celebrate. Oh. You awaken with a start to hear the stewardess say, Why, Mr. Laffer, is there a problem with your nuts? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe there is. They're salty. A voice crackles through the intercom speaker above your head. Please tighten your seat belts and return your tray tables to their fully upright and locked position. We'll be landing momentarily. That's actually a pretty good landing. Yeah. Hey, this is a very... Welcome to New York. Very... Uh, this airport just looks just like the one in Los Angeles. Absolutely. 
Right, let's head out of the lounge. Uh, this this even looks the same. What is that? Directly beneath the security camera is a charity canister containing many pennies, nickels and dimes, but only one quarter. I kind of want that quarter. You carefully smooth the wrinkles from your clothes. Yeah, no. There. There goes your chance for a Larry Kids telethon. That's fine. Uh, let's take a little look here. It's carefree living in the Eurasian style in new exorbitania townhouses. Only half a block from Central Park, Broadway, Madison Square Garden, Statue of Liberty, UN Building, World Trade Center, Automat 1 bedroom start at 10 million bucks. Security locks, no pets, and no vacancies to the likes of you either, buddy. Gay, lesbian, divorced, single, widowed, depressed, sorry. But the Blechnaven Center offers weekly seminars for happy straight couples only. Uh, now through to September 31st at Madison Glare Garden, monster trucks, funny cars, stupid motorcycles, mutant mopeds. We've turned the floor of the Colosseum into a giant mud bog. See audience members with necks twice as thick as their heads. Call ticket Orama for details. The New York City Ballet Company 2015th production of Sleeping Beauty opens August 15th. The New York City Times called it a classic. Never gets all that boring, even though you've seen it several hundred times. Opening September 20. The 2016th production of Sleeping Beauty. Call the ticket stores for details. Uh, but I, I'm kind of... I want the number for Checker Limo. You're inside a New York Aerodork Terminal's waiting room and former ticket counter. Security camera peeks at you from the far wall. Aerodork is famous for building exactly the same terminal in every city they serve, except Muncie, Indiana. That's where they hide your lost luggage. All right, so. Uh, is there, wait, are there more? Can I go there? There are more advertisements. We already got one. We want your old jewelry, rings, chains, earrings, brooches, no money paid. Stick them up pawn shop, 1525 Park Avenue West. Dr. Seymour Wieners of the Wieners Clinic says chronic fatigue, prostate problems, hemorrhoids, kidney stones, liver spots, osteoporosis, arthritis, psoriasis, cataract, incontinence, Allergies? Hernia? Ugh. Go somewhere else, okay? <laughs> the mayor's office is pleased to announce the 25th annual Why I Love New York, even though you take your life in your hands every time you open your front door and who can afford to live here anymore anyway, songwriting contest. Forms available at City Hall. Oh, that wasn't the advertisement I was looking for. Should be more on the left side, I guess. All right. From anywhere to anywhere, in New York City, there's no limousine service that's precisely, totally, exactly like the fabulous Checker Limo Corporation. Nearly instantaneous service from our fleet of radio dispatched cars. Floors disinfected regularly. Call 552 466 Eight. Welcome to New York City, home of the San Francisco Giants, New Jersey Jets, and Los Angeles Dodgers. Now in its first straight season on Broadway, Harold King's Kiss Me, My Fair Fiddler on the west side of the best little cabaret in Oklahoma saw that through April 2003. Vincent Goodby says, even better than last year's Hello Annie's Greasy South Pacific Chorus Line. Contact Ticketmeister. All right, so I, I kind of need to write this number down, which I can do because I have a little black book here, and um, I am going to write it down right here. So that's five five two four six six 
8. And that's for the limo in New York. Amazing. So um, that's what we're going to do when we get back to uh, Legend City Larry 5. I'm, I'm walking towards the payphones because they are on the on the right side. But I just took a look at the time. Yeah, we read a lot of things, but this is what we're going to do. We're going to call a taxi in the future. So thank you very much for watching Leisure Suit Larry 5, and I will see you next time.